Okay, so I'm going to answer a question from one of the comments. Um, something related to uh, animated health parts in GDevelop or any other software, really. Okay, so we don't have a health bar, so we are going to create one. Let's create a new um, new object, new sprite, and let's just, let's just call it health. Add an animation to this, and this is simply going to be um, I don't know, like a red bar, like so. And fill it with red. Okay, so there is our um, health bar. Uh, let me go to um, uh, click here, go to scene variables, and uh, we have one here called coins. If you were following the um, previous video, this one will be called, uh, I guess, health. Um, health X guess apply and uh, let's set the width of the um, uh, the health bar set the width there's size here at the bottom uh, the width is going to be equals our variable uh, that's a um, scene variable and it's called health X it's going to be divided by 100. Okay, and let's try it out. Okay, divided by 100 is not working. Uh, uh, the beginning of the scene here, let me uh, set that variable. Scene variable equals 100. Okay, try it out. Okay, so equals 100 will give me that. <laughs> Let's set that to 1000, I guess. 1000. See what happens. It's getting bigger. Okay, so let's not set this uh, divided by 100. Let's try, I don't know, like... 10 or something. Okay, that seems a lot better. So, um, let me uh, add another condition. If we push a button on the keyboard, say we press the uh, enter key. There's no enter. I guess uh, it's called return. Then we're going to subtract one from that variable. Health uh, minus one. Okay, let's try it out. She happens. Press enter, and you will see that the um, health part decreasing there in size. Uh, I guess what we can do is uh, go to variables again and create another variable. We can call this one uh, damage or something, or like uh, hurt. Something, something cooler, I guess. I don't know. HH. There we go. Okay, so if we press uh, the enter key, instead of subtracting from the health, we, we can simply add one to that variable. Okay, HH uh, plus one. Oh, my camera died. Let me just fix that now. I don't know why my camera keeps dying. Maybe time to uh, use my DSLR instead. Um, let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna add one to HH. And if you run this now, you notice that uh, when you press enter, we are adding one to HH, except for, for we can see it. Now I say, well, we cannot see it. So, uh, let me just um, take this text here. Actually, maybe we can display it in this text here. Duplicate this text. Uh, 
duplicated. Let's call it uh, HH uh, var. You can call it whatever you want. And drag this into the screen. Double click on it and maybe make it some other color like uh, orange, blue. It doesn't really matter. Let me try purple. I make everything purple. So we want to display that variable um, there. We can simply just uh, copy this from our previous um, video. And um, I want to set our variable to HH. Okay. It is our object here. It should be HH, the text, not uh, the object, not the text object, I meant to say. And that should read zero now. Press enter and that will go up by one. However, however milliseconds I press the uh, enter button. Okay, so uh, let me make it so that happens only once. Okay. This will only work if that variable is equal zero. H H equals zero. So that will turn into a one. Oops. Okay, this is a text variable. It should be a scene variable equal zero. To be careful with those. Okay, so now it's one. So if that variable is uh, greater uh, than one, h h greater than zero. I meant to say. I think I said one. Um. Oh wait, wait. That should be a different. Um, that should be a new event paste it and if that's greater than one we can keep adding one to it h h plus one so now it's going to climb it will keep going there indefinitely until the end of the, the numbers to infinity and that could be a long time so, uh, we need to put a cap to that, um, so when, the, um, let's say, HH reaches, uh, I don't know, like 50, when it goes past 50, greater than 50, we can reset that back to zero. Okay, HH equals uh, zero. And that will send it back to le zero. There we go. Okay, so when that happens, we can um, decrease the value of the health. Okay, so um, if HH is greater than zero, we can also uh, decrease the value of the health. So we can go minus one. Uh, from the health okay try it out press the button and there is our animated um, health bar just like that let me make that bigger so you can see what's happening Okay, so try that again. Let me make this bigger. Press enter. Now, it doesn't have to be enter, okay? It could be a collision with, with the bad guy. Okay, let's do that now. Instead of pressing enter, it could be collision between the bad guy, okay? So all you have to do is uh, change, copy this, and paste it over here so now that will decrease your health when you uh, 
collide with the uh, the bad guy. Okay. Alright guys, so don't forget to smack the like button down below and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.